During the process of trying to create our final piece, it was very hard to figure out what we wanted from it. Because we wanted it to be as frantic in their style as possible. However, it was we didn't really have enough time to play about as much as they would. Or experiment and just create moves for the sake of it. And then add it on top. So, and then add stories on top and costume and props. So in the end, we just decided to have little moments of these devised pieces that we've made after the workshop, but predominantly use the ones that we've used in the workshop. For the beginning, we decided um, to have two people doing a chair duet kind of thing on top of the risers, um, just to start off the whole piece to show, um, showing the audience that it's about relationships between two people and that's what the entire thing comes down to. Um, so to try and accommodate everyone's wants, um, some people wanted a slalom type thing as the intro and some people just wanted little bits of movements between two people, some people wanted the um, hand the pre hand pressure um, thing and other people just wanted to get straight into the movements so we had to try and accommodate everyone's um, so we decided to just go with getting the pairs in which you predominantly perform with and then figure out what you want to do and if we all make it around the central platforms um, then it could accommodate all of them as the slalom type thing it would accommodate as we're all going round and it's organised chaos in a way because we got to the point in which we all had a certain path that we took every time and people then got to choose whether they wanted to do the lifts or the hand pressure or whatever else they wanted to do. So at the beginning um, it was Hannah and Lauren and we wanted them to start off as we wanted to we started off back in time that Hannah, Lauren, Marlon and Bella um, were the furthest back in around World War One, World War Two era. And then we had Catherine and Joel being the link as um, they were old people in modern times, but they were young back then and they also lived in their times. Um, so we wanted the story progression of relationships throughout the different times. So we wanted to start off furthest back and show what it started off as. And then here's when we bring in all the different pairs doing the different things. Um, so some people just did lifts. Some people did the hand pressure. Some people just walked around with their pairs and did whatever they decided to do. And eventually we would all come and sit back down on the risers as they were the centerpiece of the entire piece and we'd all stay on there while watching other people perform around it as this was the apartment block that everyone's lived in throughout the years as that was our central theme um, and we had to try and figure out a transition between being on the riser and being off again so we decided just to make it as simple as possible in a way and not overcomplicate it as that wasn't part of the story. Um, so here it's the dot to dots that were reimagined and redone um, that was originally between Marlon and Jade. Um, this was to kind of, we partially wanted to do it as if it was like a dance and it was people going between partners and figuring out what worked for them. But I think in a way it was also wanting to accommodate other people's wants as people coming and going in people's lives in a way I think um, and then here just to show that Catherine and Joel were part of that time they were the only ones fully watching and they were swaying to the beat like swaying to the song as well and this was to show that they were the connection and later on they also come up and start joining um, 
we wanted to have the connection throughout the entire thing so it didn't seem like it was three different stories going on at once randomly for no reason um we wanted to have that connection be able to show it to the audience as well as possible um we didn't have it originally but we thought we should add something otherwise it would just seem unusual and slightly odd as frantic while they start off with no storylines and nothing whatever they always add in something usually towards the end but um they always have a storyline at some point in their pieces and we wanted to mimic that with our um story of relationships throughout the time um so here their piece is just finishing off and we decided that um we'd use the rises more and have people falling off them or almost falling off them as a way to transition between the time periods so we all got the cue of hannah and she'd run and we wanted to push her back because she was in their time and she wasn't allowed to escape the time and then we went on to the flirty disco um in a way so we started off thinking it could be the flirty disco that we did in the workshop but we decided that that wouldn't work as such but we kept the idea of it was bruce in the end who's going between people and affecting the relationships and this was the transition between um the old time period and the combination of old and new um it was partially the simplest way of transitioning and it also we thought it was quite frantic because it was lots of people doing different things at once so you could focus on different things and it would change depending on who you looked at and who you decided to focus on um this is our dot to dot that we reimagined and developed um we changed quite a lot about it as we didn't have the wall anymore so we couldn't really do it against the wall so it had the feel of being against something solid at the back but for the two pairs that used the wall they just kind of had to imagine it being there which i think was quite hard for them to figure that out and to understand how to do that properly especially as kath and joel had one lift that um Catherine had to be against a wall to do so they had to redo that here as you can see um without the wall and I think that took them quite a while to figure out how to do and then the transition from this one to the next was Catherine's character she was originally meant to die to show that they were old and that they couldn't and they were the transition between the two However, it turned out that Bruce and Myers was a lot longer than we thought. So we had to change it that Catherine didn't die. She just got carried off. But it showed that they were old to the audience. So in the end, we decided that um, we'd all, each of the pairs in that section, so me and Izzy, Joel and Catherine and Bruce and Maya would take up one level of the riser. Um, instead of having them dying as it would all as it would in a way show the effect of having the apartment buildings and that we're all all relationships based on similar ideas but all develop in a different way so here was just um, reaffirming that to the audience that it was kind of an apartment blocks and here's the final section of the reimagining of what we did in the workshop. These were the heart lines that they did. And we thought that this would go last, being the most modern, as it was about cheating and um, kind of modern relationships in a way and what it's become. Um, we thought that this would work well if they did it away, like they faced away from the audience, so that they'd be able to tell the um, eye contact more so that when Hannah and Leah look towards Peter, it would show the audience that 
then both going after him and yet he's kind of in the middle not really paying attention to either um and then for the final transition um between their piece and the end we thought that it would be quite effective just to have Hannah left on, on her own as um, she was the one that Peter didn't choose. Um, just to show that the audience that while a relationship can affect, is directly involved with only a few people, it can affect many others around them and can affect their friends and family and the people who live near them as the consequences of that relationship. So this was what we did here, um, just to show that meaning. Um, and then here is our final end point. We wanted to show that everyone is connected in some way, um, whether that be through apartments or through friends and family, um, that relationships, while they may seem to be so very different, that they're not. And we thought that the best way to show this through a frantic style would be to be connected in some way. So we were all um, connected with each other through both the um, set and through each other. Um, I thought that our piece was fairly effective as we used the frantic style as much as possible with what we did um, however there were sections that maybe could have been a bit better um, for example we didn't we weren't very, as active as much as we could have been we were very slow and gentle with our movements and while we were showing relationships and love there is the excitement in there as well it's not just somber and sad so I think if we were to do it again, we need that difference in movement, that difference in pace, rather than being all very slow. Um, we need those fast moments, and that's something we need to keep in mind if we were ever to visit Frantic again.